Hey y'all, it's Tiffany at HCG Housewife. Today is November the 27th, 2012, and just doing a quick update. It's um, been a long time since I've updated. I think it's been since my birthday, which was September the 10th. Um, I'm not, I haven't done an HCG round, so i kind of been staying off. Um, I've been watching everybody, though, and it's so exciting to see so many um, of my round buddies starting rounds, and I'm a little jealous because I, I think in my mind I want to do it, too, but I'm not. Just to give you a little update, um, I stopped doing, I did, it's been about a little over a year since I started HCG. And I did one successful round, one and a half successful rounds, I guess. No, I'll just say one successful round because the successful round would be actually stabilizing and maintaining. So I've done one successful round and then um, I guess it was two or three um, attempts. <laughs> I would do the rounds and then um, not stabilize or maintain it. So, but... I've maintained that first round for a year, so that's something positive, I guess. Um, well, I'll say I maintained it, yeah, for about a year, and then I started on another diet, and <laughs> I'll just have to, I have um, notes, but I left them at home. I just got out of the doctor, and I'm waiting for a prescription to be filled, and um, so I thought I'd get on here, and I don't have my notes with me, but I wanted to... Um, so I main anyway, let me finish. I maintained that I think it was 23 pound loss from the first round. Then I did a second round after Christmas and the first round I stabilized and it was just real, a really good round. The second round I did, I attempted a long round and um, halfway through it, I, I'm going to give you excuses here. So just know these are excuses. <laughs> um, anyway, halfway through it, I had some dental work and I let everything go to pot after that. I didn't, I didn't stabilize well. Um, as soon as I got off the round, we went for Valentine's Day, um, and so I didn't do P3 right. I had Valentine's Day treats and dessert, <laughs> and then so I tried another round after that. Um, did not take my HCG while I was loading, so it started off bad, <laughs> and then I think the last round I did, I actually lost really well, and that was in August. I took the summer off, um, took May, June, July off, and um, I guess I mean I stable didn't stabilize really well because if I did, I would, you know, I guess it would have been a successful round. But anyway, when I got back on in August, I did a, a round, and um, I know I'm totally confusing you, but <clears throat> if you're still with me, in August I did a round and lost really well. And I went to the doctor to um, see why, you know, I wasn't conceiving. And she did blood work. And when I told her I was on HCG, she didn't have any, any clue what that was. Um, she kept calling it UCG or something like that. But anyway, um, she, you know, liked the fact that I had lost weight, but... She thought, she did blood work and thought the HCG, which was totally homeopathic, and I was off of it at the time, but I think I was off of, uh, anyway, she thought that that was interfering with blood work. So I ha she told me to get off of that. So I got off and I never went back on. But I did lose really well, but I kind of used that as an excuse that she said that thinking, or she's saying to get off of it, that I had to get off of it for good. And, um, anyway, so I haven't done an HCG round since August. And I was doing really well with maintaining that loss, you know, give or, give or take a couple of pounds until I started, well, I did a diet called, I think it's called the Hawthorne diet, which was a cleansing diet. And that was really good for maintaining. Um, it, you know, it allowed meats and beans and I think one cup of rice a day. So, you know, it was really good for introducing carb, that carb slowly back in. So that was, that's a great way to maintain if anybody's interested, look up the Hawthorne diet. And what it is, it's a cleansing diet for yeast. And um, I don't really know how well that it helped that. But um, anyway, I did that until, I, I mean, I was, I did it until, 
I guess it was late October or so. I don't remember. Anyway, I, then I found the um, fertility diet. And I'll, oh, in the meantime, I was on Provera and Clomid. And that may, I don't know if that was why, but my weight started bouncing around. So um, anyway, so I've done, I did a round of Provera and Clomid. Nothing happened. I never ovulated. So, um, or I never ovulated that the, that the ovulation predictors the OPK, yeah, ovulation predictor kits read. Um, and I did those kits once or twice or even more times a day for like 40 days or so. And so I called the doctor and I was doing the, I was also found the fertility diet and that's what made my weight shoot up because I was, I was, you know, letting that, it said I could have um, carbs. So of course I was eating carbs. I'm a carb addict. Um, I'm trying to think what else the, fertility diet said you could have oh it was low on the animal protein high on the plant protein and beans they they said you should have beans or beans plants and nuts to get your protein and also full fat dairy um, and, and carbs um, good for you carbs like brown rice um, and not white carbs good for you carbs like you know fruits and stuff like that and I, I, you know, I thought, well, this is going to help me get pregnant. I'm going to have, I'm going to have all these carbs. Well, I know that when I have too many carbs, that my weight shoots up. It didn't on the Hawthorne diet because it was only a little bit of carbs a day in that brown rice. But this one I was eating um, Ezekiel bread, Ezekiel tortillas, sometimes regular tortillas, um, rice pasta and it was all whole grain and supposed to be good for you but still it was carbs and I wasn't controlling them and again I know that I have to control my carbs so anyway I was I was up and since August I actually because I went to the doctor in August and then when I went back I'd gained like 10 pounds but I didn't gain that 10 pounds right away my doctor thinks oh bad this is so bad. You've gained 10 pounds since last time I saw you. When I told her I gained the 10 pounds in the last two, three weeks, she was like, oh, <laughs> that's even worse. Anyway, so I'm doing low carb, low calorie now. I started that yesterday and I've already lost three pounds, so that's good. Um, my blood pressure is way up too, so that's why I'm back at the doctor. I, I, I'm doing a round of Provera, but she's not going to do Clomid because she wants to do another do a sonogram. She did a sonogram last week, and I know I'm just all over the place, but I guess those of you have who have tried to conceive, maybe you can follow me a little bit better. She did a sonogram last week, and it showed. She said that something was trying to happen. There was a cyst there, but she wants to do another one after I take Provera to see if the cyst resolves itself or whatever before she gives me another round of Clomid and she's going to up the round up the dosage of Clomid so hopefully I'll ovulate and a baby will come out of it <laughs> that's what we're hoping um, but I really need to lose quite a bit because I do not want to be you know pregnant and over 300 pounds that will be very uncomfortable and unhealthy so um, I'm motivated to lose, and I'm, that, you know, I don't, I don't, crud, I forgot what else I was going to say. I wish I'd have done this with my um, notes, because I would have, maybe you could have followed me a little better. But anyway, if you're still with me, I'm going to check in every once in a while, um, just, you know, to check in, let you know how I'm doing, and even though I'm not doing HCG, I'm probably going to keep this YouTube name, just because I don't want another one. <laughs> I have another YouTube for crafting that I think some people have found. It's um, ramblings from a girly girl .blogspot com. No, that's my blog. <laughs> YouTube is ramblings from a girly girl. Um, I don't have many followers over there, so if anybody's interested in crafting and wants to follow me, I would really appreciate it um 
So, that's about it. And I hope I didn't ramble too much. And I hope I didn't leave anything out. Okay. Hope everybody has a great day. Lots of hopes there. Bye-bye. <laughs>